Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today I'm taking a look at some Stargrave accessories from my buddy Mark out in Nova Scotia uh, at Schooner Labs, which he was kind enough to put together for me. This is sort of like the test run of them, the like the tippy tippy tip like experimental run. So they may differ from what you see here on the table in the final version. Check the website to see what they actually sort of like finish off looking like, but it should be very close to this. Um, which he was kind enough to make up for the Let's Play in the first couple of videos of Stargrave that I did with Owen. Um, so we got all kinds of things here. Status tokens, um, supply tokens, blast templates, smoke templates, wall templates, wound markers, all kinds of great stuff. So let's take a look right now. And so here we go with Stargrave tokens and accessories from Schooner Labs. Um, the first thing I'll show off, these are super nice, and I think they're actually uh, available previously. These were done for Frostgrave. Um, these are wound dials, ingeniously made to mark between 29 and 1 wounds. So you can see it goes to 2. Uh, it could go higher, but there's a handy W here to show if you're in the wounded state. So some things in Frostgrave and Stargrave can't be wounded though, in which case you put the zero down here and show that it has less than X number of wounds. When you go below four wounds though in Frostgrave and Star, um, Stargrave and even Rangers of Shadowdeep, um, you would get a wounded token there as well. So these triple decker wound markers, I have 10 of them. These are like so handy. I love they go to 29. Um, these are like my favorite new wound markers, I think, just period in general. But of course, they're custom made for any of Joe's games um, and are available now from Schooner Labs. Then, of course, if you've seen Owen abuse it in Frostgrave, he's going to abuse it in Stargrave too. We got Wall of Force and Holographic Wall, the two different wall powers that your captains and first mates can learn. Uh, they're cut in acrylic, they're six inches long and three inches high, so they're perfectly sized. And they do add that like sci-fi aesthetic to the game, so these are really nice. Uh, measuring gauge with three inch, eight inch, two inch, one inch moves. The flame template, you can get in clear or in um, like, a, like a solid acrylic. I don't know which one will be the final one, you'll have to check the site, same with the blast template. And the blast template's handy, because it's got a three inch and four inch um, radius. So you can see the interior circle is three inches, the extra is four inches this is for all your grenades and other status effects. Then some smoke templates, because of course, if you've if you've ever seen Owen and I play Infinity, you know that we like to abuse smoke. Um, and these, of course, block line of sight and can potentially go away. Physical and data loot tokens. And now you can use these as the tokens themselves, like you could place them on the table as the objectives. Or what we did is we modeled cool physical objectives, and when they're open, we place these on the model just to mark what kind of actual loot is being carried around. Then four common status effects, so stunned, if you take more than four points of damage, right, you lose an action and it gets removed. Uh, wounded, which is another way if you're not going to use these wound dials, uh, you can mark their health some other way and then mark their wounded so they only have one less action. Toxin, for when models have poison on them, and then jammed, when you roll one on a shooting attack and your weapon stops working and you remove it with an action as well. Then piles of status markers, these are for the various powers. I believe he does like a pack of two of each. That's what I have here. Obviously, you know, it, your mileage may vary. Um, but you've got things like Void Blade, which is the lightsaber, target designation, uh, adrenaline surge for an extra action, coordinated fire, armor plates, lots of neat little like extra tokens just for marking all the other effects. These were really handy for playing the first two games that we played. Um, and I gotta say they added a lot, like just um, being able to visualize exactly what our wounds were at, knowing what kind of loot we were carrying at a glance, and then having access to like smoke and blast and flamer templates and stuff too is really nice. So big thanks for Mark for doing these up for me and check out Skinner Labs in the link below to check them out for yourself. So there you go, another great product from a small company. Now, if you know of a product you think deserves more attention, you can have them email me at grillminiaturegames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets and we'll put it in front of as many people as possible. Till next time, I'm Ash. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.